let I it go. I can't play guitar. Can you tell? I'm not living my dream. Tell I'm gonna shine. Let so it go. Loud. Yeah. Patrick. <laughs> Melanie Renee will represent Switzerland at Eurovision 2015 with the song Time to Shine. You guys, is she shining? Is she dimming? Are the lights off? Um, she's maybe glowing, if not shining for me. Um, I think this is a decent effort from Switzerland. And like, I'm so glad it's gone through such like major surgery to get it to this point because the national final song was a bit of a disaster. Um, and I think Melanie's kind of somehow, it's a bit of a Frankenstein. It doesn't really sound like the same song. She's sort of just about holding it all together, but it works for me. Yeah, I think that she's a really charismatic and she's a really good performer when she does it live. There was that real kind of edging soul to the performance, which will really come through on stage in Vienna, I hope, provided she doesn't have nerves. Um, I think that the reworking bits that they have done to the song have really helped lift it that extra edge. Um, yeah, I've, I've always kind of really liked this one. I was supporting it um, at the national final. It was one of my favourites. Yeah, I can't really find that many things to fault it with. It's not a Eurovision winner, but it's a perfectly competent, good Eurovision song. Yeah, I seriously have to say that in the national final, she was my favourite, and I really loved it. And after the first rework, I was like, yeah, it's a bit better now. And after the third surgery, it was like, okay, it's good. But it's, it's losing my interest, sadly. It's not that it's there all the time. I listened to it so many times before, like two months. But now it's gone. And I, I don't give a damn actually anymore about the song. And the video is so horrible. I really, it's really not a good video. I have, I have to say it. And I don't think that she will do well in Vienna, sadly. Now, when Switzerland chose this, I was kind of surprised because it's almost, the beginning is very dark, almost edgy, it reminds me of Lord, and like Switzerland has gone for hokey stuff in the past, a little cheesy, like Subalter was great, but it was just, not gimmicky, but just very, you know, ha, ha, ha. whereas this is like all like sorceress, diva, edgy R&B. Um, so well done for Melanie, to Melanie Renee for getting through. Um, you know, I'm not bored by the song. I actually think this has improved for me. The national final, as Chris and I have discussed, that guitar was gross. It needed to go. This moved it from 2015 to 1985. By getting rid of it, she's back in this century. Um, and I'm, I'm hopeful. I feel like her voice is among the strongest in the contest. Like, putting the song aside, that voice is killer. And she has major talent, and I think juries still value that. And so if she is a borderline qualifier, I'm hoping, and I'm thinking, the voice will push her through. I think she just has, like, a huge job to do following Mons from Sweden. Like, I think of anyone in that semi final, she has the hardest job to do. Purely because he is the favourite and because Heroes is such a quality song. I mean, I'm biased because I love the song, but I think she has a huge mountain to climb in clawing that back. Uh, so I think that could disadvantage her on the night. I mean, the only thing with that is that, yes, okay, she's right after Mons, but to her advantage, she's after all, she's after that block of ballads and the kind of female songs. So she is after, you know, people like Molly from Ireland and Amber as well. She's after her. And she's before um, Janice Karajanis from Cyprus, and that is going to put everybody to sleep. So at least I think she'll keep some of the energy going from Mons, but I do worry that she might be kind of left behind a bit. Um, but I really hope she isn't. I really hope she isn't. I think the biggest problem is for her that she's not the only girl with a great big voice in this semi-final. Like there, is, there are so many good female vocalists, and it's actually in the semi-final too. It's not only about the voice anymore because there's so strong songs. And I don't think that she is. She has the one of the strongest songs. Sadly, I, I, I think she could surprise us really with the voice. But I have not. I have not. No good feeling for my neighbors here. I really don't. Yeah. Her voice is going to be center stage. I'm hoping she has no backing dances or anything crazy. I'm hoping this is simple because Mons's performance, even though it's just him, there is that elaborate screen. And so maybe following that with something very simple, very pure, not technological could be to her advantage. I don't know. I'm probably just being hopeful. In any event, let's give our scores out of 10. 
I give this a 6.5 because I think it is a strong effort for the Swiss and it's been a while since they've done two good songs in a row at Eurovision. Um, and I'm hopeful, like, I would like Time to Shine to make the final. I think it is in about a half of the semi-final for her. So I'm optimistic about Switzerland's chances of getting through. I'm giving it an 8. Um, I gave it a 7.5 in the national finals. Since then, it's been reworked. It's got better. So I think it's only fair for me to give it that, really. And it is probably just outside or just in my top 10. So, yeah, it's, it is really high up for me. I think think it will qualify i really hope it does um i think that where quite a few songs probably won't make out of the first half of the semi-final that opens it up a bit more for her in the second half to qualify so if she doesn't i think she will place like 11th though so yeah it's going to be a close one i will give her a six out of ten because uh i think it's still a good song don't get me wrong but it's i i think that latvia's aminata will kill her chances for the final because it's the same genre it's same electric it's same with strong voices but in the end it's a good song i hope she will do well but i have i have a feeling that she will stay in the same yeah she's definitely a borderline qualifier if she does qualify but i'm hoping she will push through um this song is very radio friendly. I could hear this on the radio because of that Lord quality at the beginning. Um, and that voice, y'all, that voice, it makes me feel something. So I give her a six and that's based mainly on her being amazing. The song, mm, I'd probably score it lower. <laughs> 